Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we'll be diving into the flaps and slats controls and protections. In today's tutorial, we'll explore the following. How the A320's flaps and slats are controlled, powered, and monitored. The protective systems in place to prevent malfunctions and ensure safe operation. And understanding a whole host of acronyms associated with the flaps and slats system. First, let's look at the configuration of the A320's flaps and slats. Each wing is equipped with five slats and two flaps and can be operated up to a maximum altitude of 20,000 feet. The slats extend from the leading edge of the wing while the flaps extend from the trailing edge. This setup increases the wing's surface area and adjusts the airflow, allowing for slower speeds during takeoff, landing, and other phases of flight where additional lift is required. In the A320 family, the slats maintain a consistent angle across all variants, ensuring uniform airflow control over the wing's leading edge. However, the flap angles vary between variants, allowing each aircraft to optimize lift and drag differently based on its unique weight and performance characteristics. Let's quickly discuss the indication systems that keep the flight crew informed of the flap and slat positions. The A320 uses two indication position pickoff units, one dedicated to the slats and one to the flaps. These units send accurate position data to the ECAM, which displays it to the flight crew. This real-time feedback allows the crew to verify that the flaps and slats are in the correct position and functioning as expected throughout all phases of flight. Control of the flaps and slats falls to the SFCC or slat flap control computer, which operates with a dual channel design. One channel manages the slats and the other manages the flaps. This separation ensures that each control surface operates independently, enhancing reliability. When the pilot adjusts the flap lever in the cockpit, the command follows a specific path. First, it passes through the SFCCs, which interpret and forward the command to the slat flap power control units. Each SFCC controls one motor for the flap PCU and one motor for the slat PCU. This redundancy helps keep the system operational, even in the event of a component failure. The flap and slat PCUs are powered by independent hydraulic motors to ensure reliable operation. For the flaps, the motors draw from the green and yellow hydraulic systems. And for the slats, they rely on the green and blue hydraulic systems. This independence adds an additional layer of reliability, allowing for continuous operation even if one hydraulic system fails. Once the flaps or slats reach the position selected by the pilot, pressure off brakes engage to lock the hydraulic motors, effectively holding the surfaces in place. This prevents any unwanted movement that could disrupt flight performance. Each SFCC is assigned specific hydraulic channels, with SFCC1 controlling green hydraulics for flaps and blue hydraulics for slats, and SFCC2 using green for slats and yellow for flaps. In the event of a failure within the SFCC or a hydraulic system, redundancy is built in to maintain control of the flaps and slats. If one SFCC or hydraulic system is lost, the remaining components ensure that the corresponding slat or flap continues to operate, albeit at half speed. This slower speed minimizes stress on the system while maintaining the ability to adjust the surfaces. The A320's flaps and slats are also safeguarded by several protective systems. At the heart of these are the wingtip brakes and flap attachment failure detection sensors. These features are designed to detect and address issues before they impact aircraft safety. The wingtip brakes automatically activate in response to certain malfunctions, effectively locking the flaps or slats in their current position. These brakes engage when there's an issue with asymmetry, overspeed, runaway, or uncommanded movement. 
Each of these conditions could potentially destabilize the aircraft if left unaddressed. So the wingtip brakes act as a critical safeguard. A unique feature of the wingtip brake system is its ability to lock either the slats or the flaps independently without affecting the other surface. This means that if the wingtip brakes engage on the flaps, the slats remain operational, allowing the crew to adjust slat positions as needed. Similarly, if the wingtip brakes activate on the slats, the flaps can still be controlled independently. This separation adds flexibility to the system, allowing partial control of the wing surfaces even if one set is locked by the wingtip brakes. Hydraulic redundancy plays a vital role in the wingtip brake protection system, especially in case of system failures. Each wing's wingtip brakes are supported by specific hydraulic assignments to ensure reliable braking if needed. Specifically, the green and blue hydraulics control the slats and right wing flaps, and the yellow and blue hydraulics control the left wing flaps. This setup ensures that the wingtip brakes can effectively lock the flaps and slats on each wing, even if one hydraulic system is compromised. To monitor the alignment of the slats and flaps, the system uses asymmetry position pickoff units and feedback position pickoff units. These sensors measure the alignment and relay this information to the SFCCs. In the event that both SFCCs detect a discrepancy, the wingtip brakes activate and an ECAM message is displayed in the cockpit, alerting the crew to the fault. Importantly, once the wingtip brakes engage, they cannot be released mid-flight ensuring that any failure remains contained until landing. The final layer of protection for the flaps is provided by the flap attachment failure detection sensors. These sensors monitor the flap interconnecting structure, looking for any abnormal differences in position. If they detect such a difference, they signal to the LGCIU, which then halts flap movement by engaging the pressure off brakes. This action stops the flaps from moving any further, preserving the integrity of the attachment points and preventing potential control issues. To recap, the A320's flap and slat systems are controlled by the dual channel SFCCs, which interprets pilot inputs and commands the respective power control units for both the flaps and slats. These surfaces are powered by all three hydraulic systems with real-time position feedback provided by the IPPUs and transmitted to the ECAM. Protection mechanisms, such as the wingtip brakes and the flap attachment failure detection sensors, ensure the system remains secure and operational, even during malfunctions. Our popular A320 tech quizzes are now part of an exclusive newsletter membership designed to provide you with even more value. As a member, you'll receive four brand new A320 tech quizzes every month, one each Monday, delivered straight to your inbox. You'll also receive exclusive deep dives into A320 systems, procedures, and techniques that go beyond this YouTube content. And you'll also gain access to bonus content and other surprises to keep your knowledge fresh and up to date. If you're interested, Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to sign up today. Thanks for tuning in, and let's take your A320 knowledge to the next level.